plantation. You will see her in just a moment. We also have, and we call it the uh, uh, Butler Plantation, but Ma Bessie and her daughter. Ma Bessie, uh, when you come to during the next time, uh, the gentleman that wrote the song about Kumbaya Akumbaya is in the St. Andrew Cemetery Library of Congress. But what you did not know in this group that I'm about to present to you for the final time today, we have the oldest active ring shouter that was sitting in the back, and you did not know that, and this audience didn't know. This is the oldest active ring shouter in the world. We privilege her because she was there when the last slave, not they, but another gentleman by the name of Liverpool, authentic, the last slave of the Butler Plantation, my Bessie, not only lived in that community, but had the opportunity to be alive during the same time that that slave was alive. So my Bessie, if you would hold your hand up and your daughter. of going to Toronto to Canada and visiting the church that Harriet Tubman worshipped in. And a lot of you know that Harriet Tubman brought approximately 300 people from slavery to freedom. Um, she carried a weapon with her. Mm -hmm. Now this is not the weapon that she Ooh. carried. Don't y'all run. This is not the weapon that she carried with her. But we use this just to, to demonstrate what she uh, had to, because if you started on a journey with Harriet, you had to go all the way. All right. You wasn't going to start and turn back. So she carried a trusty weapon with her. But we sing a song, and we dedicate it to the memory of Harriet Tubman. Because don't you know she had to go through the swamp? And she had to go at night. And as she was going through the swamp, we sing this song, because we think about Harriet Tubman. Mm -hmm. Way in the water.
Churches now, all right. On New Year's Eve, mm -hmm. and we sing a song, "Oh Day Yonder Come Day." The young folks don't know the reason for the song. Well, we call it Watch Night, but before that, it was called Freedom Night, mm -hmm. because don't you know they were waiting until January 1, 1863, when slavery would be abolished. All right. We thank Abraham Lincoln oh, <laughs> yes. for what he thought and not for us to do. Mm -hmm. Now we listen as we travel. Hatred is not what we teach, oh, no. but heritage is what we preach. That's right. Because we want our young folks to know that we have a heritage of courage, hope, faith, love, and determination. We have always been led by divine inspiration. So in our churches, we sing old day, yonder come day. And we're thinking about this fact that we're left on the plantation. Old day, yonder come day. Thank you. 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 Thank you.